today I have a Cimarron 2 plus 2 horse trailer to show you. It is a brand new 2024, just arrived. I apologize, we have not gotten the road grime and bugs off yet. It has been raining since it arrived here um, up until just a little bit ago. So I wanted to go ahead and show you the trailer. I apologize, it is a little bit dirty, but it is here at Trailer Country LLC in Carrollton, Virginia. And I am gonna do my best to show you what's so great about the 2 plus 2. So again, it's a 2024 Cimarron 2 Plus 2. If you're not familiar with the Cimarron trailer, I refer to them as the Escalated Horse Trailers. They are insulated in the walls of the horse area. They have an insulated fiberglass roof. They all come standard with aluminum wheels and a top quality tire. On this particular trailer, it's a Goodyear Endurance tire. Um, the trailer has 7,000 pound axles. They also use a B and W brand coupler on all of their trailers. So that's a B and W 25,000 pound coupler. I did not put a hydraulic jack on this trailer just because it's a little bit of a pricey trailer with all of the options and amenities. And um, I wanted to try to keep the price as manageable as possible for as great as the trailer is. But the hydraulic jack is certainly something that we can get added here for you at Trailer Country LLC if, that's, if you're interested in that upgrade. As you can see, there is a full-size spare tire with a matching aluminum wheel here under this nose. Uh, the trailer has a five-foot dressing room, rubber mat on the floor, carpet on the drop sheet and in the nose, four saddle racks that are adjustable on the post, and blanket bars there for your saddle pads or blankets or what have you. Those can be adjusted and brought down below the saddle racks if you prefer. Ample bridle hooks on this carpeted wall and carpet on the wall through door. We have an interior switch here and there's a brush box on the door. Going through our walkthrough area, we are stepping into a horse stall. So this trailer actually accommodates four horses in a nose to nose fashion. So we call it a two plus two because it's not a true head to head. Um, the horses are actually nose to nose, but separated by this stud gate in between them. Um, so I'm gonna demonstrate for you how you would get your horses in and out of here. Forgive me, we are a small operation here. I am a one man camera crew. Um, so it may get a little Blair Witch, but hopefully you get a good idea what we're doing. Here in the front stall of the trailer, we have 11 feet um, from nose to tail, maybe even a smidge more than that. I have to check the drawing, but it's at least 11 feet here um, because we wanna make sure that these horses can come into this side ramp and have plenty of room to get into these stalls. Uh, so this divider pins into the wall there, into that stationary butt bar. And then this is where it's going to get tricky with one hand. We're going to use this latch here to telescope this divider. So I'm going to lift this latch up and pull this in. So I've just telescoped that divider right in with my one phone hand and my free hand. We drop this bar. The bar over the side ramp is on a slide so that it easily goes out of the way. This is a 60 inch side ramp, so that bar is super long. Your option is a strap um, or a bar that completely comes off or this nice sliding bar so you don't lose it, but it just easily gets out of the way. And the reason telescoping this divider is important is because we're gonna bring it almost completely out of this 60 inch side ramp. So as you can see, that barely comes into the side ramp at all. It's not gonna be a hindrance to horses coming in or out. So with this nice 60 inch side ramp, we can bring in the horse for the street side. He's got tons of room to get in here and get into his slot, bring his head over the breast bar. And then we would just easily put this telescoping divider back into place and that horse is going to be latched in. I'm not going to try to do that because one, it takes up a lot of time when I'm doing it with one hand and trying to video and there's no sense in putting you through that torture. Um, also, I'll show you this, then this horse, of course, it would be nice if that was in place, but the stall is so long and the ramp is so wide and the trailer's nice and wide anyway, it's still very easy to get this horse into place so he can walk forward. If you really need some more space, you can put this breast bar down. He can walk forward even more because he has four feet of headroom there to get this horse lined up. I'm not gonna tell you your largest horse should go here or your most difficult horse, but it's very easy to get a horse here on this outside wall 
if you're working off the trailer for the day and horses are coming on and off at a show, maybe not the best, but if you're going from point A to point B and you wanna be able to haul four horses, this is the way to do it. Also putting two horses in the front here and then putting a golf cart in the back, that, that's really what we designed the trailer for, was to be a reversible two plus one or a golf cart trailer or a carriage trailer. Your golf carts are typically about nine feet long. They are not going up that side ramp and still be able to shut that ramp. So if you put your horses up front, you can put your golf cart up the back. This is a sliding divider from Cimarron. If you haven't seen this, it's amazing. Again, I'm not gonna try to go through this right now with you because I have one hand, I'm a one man show today. Um, but this divider is so easy for me to move. We pull the pin from the top and bottom of this divider. See this track up here? We pull the two pins on the back, the two pins on the front, and the one on the head divider. And this divider just slides on this track. I have some videos on my face, excuse me, on my YouTube where we do slide the divider when I had some help. So feel free to take a look at that. Um, it is super easy to do all by myself. And I think you'll appreciate how, how simple that is. Um, sorry, someone was calling. Um, we've got four fans in the trailer. Because of the sliding divider, this particular horse has to have their fans in the front or their fan. Everybody else has their fan in the back, but this sliding divider would take the fan off the wall if it was back here. Actually, it's only, that's not true. There are three fans. There should be four. I can add a fourth fan um, because that one's not the problem. This one is. The horse on this side, that divider would be in the way. Maybe the head divider's in the way altogether. I think that's it. The head divider would actually be in the way. So, Scratch all that. It is three fans in this trailer. The horse on that side. I could possibly get something in there. Anyway, we can talk about that later. Um, huge LED lights inside of this Cimarron trailer. They're fantastic. Looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five of those big LED lights in here. That's gonna light this thing up like a Christmas tree. We've got a load light on the rear ramp. We've got a load light on the side ramp as well. Nice, easy to lift rear ramps. We've got switches here on the back. They're gonna operate our fans, our load lights, our interior lights. Full length running boards on the Cimarron trailer. If you're not familiar with their product, check it out or call me and let me tell you how it's so great. This extrusion is actually double layered. On a lot of horse trailers, you're gonna find an extrusion that if you took the inner wall off, you would find the inside of the ribs there. On this Cimarron, it is flat on the inside because it is a two layer extrusion there. Um, on this two plus two, we've got ample ventilation, tons of roof vents, tons of windows. We've got sliding windows. We've got drop down windows, another drop down window there, windows everywhere. And it's insulated in the ceiling with an insulated honeycomb fiberglass. The walls in the horse area are insulated. This is a great trailer. I hope that I have given you enough information about how those dividers work and loading the horses in the front for you to understand the two plus two scenario. But basically it is your four horse head to head with no center aisle for folks that do not want to or don't have a truck to drive a truck around that, a trailer of that magnitude. Again, sorry about the bugs there. It's a long way from Oklahoma to Carrollton, Virginia. Um, you can see the specs on our website. The trailer is 610 wide, 710 tall, and 27 feet on the floor. And I love to talk about trailers. So give me a call at any time. Again, this trailer is at Trailer Country LLC in Carrollton, Virginia.